did it, I'm not there to try to hurt anyone. I just want to have a good fight, if you know what I mean. Some people, they go there, they want to say, I want to knock this guy out straight away. I want to submit him. I just want to go there and enjoy, enjoy it and just do it for fun, if you, if you know what I mean. I just want to do it for fun. I want to learn nothing out of it, you know what I mean. I yeah. just like to take my time. Uh, you know, sauce the guy and see how he goes. Actually, it did happen to me once. Yeah, oh, he was on the last show. He was just, I was very really disappointed. I went on the skate, just take my top off, wait in, and then just got the and says, I'm fine. I'm like, what's up, dude? Man, I ain't that ugly, you know? <laughs> uh, the only things I would say is matter you get in there, you both trying your hardest in the training and you both want to win. It's very easy, I want to, I want to really enjoy it. It's like you're looking at the plate, you want to start eating your food, you just want to yummy all that, you just want to take your time, you know, a glass of wine. Take your time and just kill it like that, you know what I mean? I'm just going to kill them softly, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 2010 was a uh, very good year for me. Uh, I've had three strong, uh, convincing wins, uh, three stoppages. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with, with the fights I've had so far. And uh, now I'm ready just to, to uh, go ahead and do the same. I've been working hard on everything. Uh, you know, like I said, I've, I've been at Leicester Shoot, uh, working on my grappling with Nathan Levinson. Um, I've been with Owen Comrie, you know, working on uh, you know technical striking. So I've been working on improving everything, the strength and conditioning, you know, and I'm trying to up my game as best I can. Yeah, it's, it, it's really good having uh, you know a lot of people coming down and supporting. Uh, you know, they uh, they urge me on, you know, and it's uh, you know it gives you a good psychological advantage to have a lot of people there you know, chatting with. They'll say that I'm going to be the more dominant and aggressive fighter and uh, more technical fighter. 2010 was a horrible year for me. Um, started off February, had my first loss, um, so obviously, like most people, pretty gotten about that. And then after that, it was just injury after injury after injury. So, um, but it also helped me because I've, uh, I've managed to work on a lot of stuff that I needed to work on as well. So, the difference will be is I'll be standing and he'll be on the floor. So, that'll be the difference. Referee's holding my hand up and he'll be uh, either asleep on the floor or or his corner will be cuddling in the carry mark cage. Yeah, I'm, I'm coming, coming to knock you out for this one. And, um, off the back of this, I'm looking definitely to, uh, to get back in there for the, for the UK top 10 for featherweights. I'm, I'm ranked number 17 at the minute, so I've got seven places to climb. End of the year, I'll be in top 10, and then I'm looking for Jeff Lawson again, definitely. Uh, well, I started um, December 2009, so just, what, about 13 months ago. Uh, in the past, say two months since I've been under the kind of like guidance of Jimmy Warlord, I've mainly focused, uh, I've really up my game and been focusing a lot on my stand-up. Uh, I'm, comf I'm comfortable anyway, so like I say, this kid, whoever he is, uh, I'm happy to, if he wants to take it to the ground, I'll, I'll lose the ground with him. And, uh, but to be honest, I'd like to, I'd like to knock him out. So. Same as I've said on my previous two fights, uh, control the whole fight, and uh, the only thing that they'll say on this one that they didn't say on the last ones is it was a good knockout. My main guy is Owen Kumri. He's been training with Master Toddy in his Kumri uh, age, and uh, he's one of the top guys out there. Uh, he's been with my tower I've seen for a long time, for the last five years. I've been very patient to so be there training wise with me. The second guy is my uh, submission wrestling coach. I remember the first time when I went down to uh, Leicester Shooters um, with um, Nathan Leverton. He just took me on straight away, he stopped me off. I've been in a few other places before I went down there mm. and it took me for a while to get into the kind of team. Yeah. But he welcomed me straight away and he helped me out. And I really appreciate it. And uh, Robert Hannes as well from Leicester Shooters. And um, who else I want to say thanks to? Um, all the people, all my sponsors, all my friends and family who they were there for me since day one. All the promoters, you know, they were really trying to match me up and help me out. Even, you know, I didn't get a fight in few fights, they said. Um, they were very supportive and they were there for me. And um, everybody from the Rough House, they've done quite a lot just being in that environment and just be around them top guys, you know, Paul Lee, Dan. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, my coaches Nathan Levinson and Owen Comrie. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, my training partners and uh, my friend and family and sports.
Yeah, obviously I want to say thank you for everybody, let's just shoot fighters, um, everybody with the team, Nathan Levin, Robin, uh, Rob Hannis, um, and then obviously all my teammates as well, Mo, the guys fighting on the show, so babe, I, I, I don't even know how many people we've got on this show, should we call the Leicester Shoot Fight Show, um, and then obviously rough ass guys for the sparring, um, spar with them every, on a weekly basis, Dan, Paulie, uh, Dean Amasingo, Ross Pearson, all them guys. And then everybody else who's involved with uh, helping to get ready for this fight, um, Owen Connery as well for the striking. So just yeah, thanks for everybody, fans, supporters, family, everybody. Cheers. Yeah, definitely. Um, Jimmy Warlead, top, top, top. One of the, I'd say he's the probably the best world weight in Europe. Uh, he's a, I mean, a good guy. He's, he's taught me virtually everything I know. Uh, since being under the, his guidance, my game really, really come on. Maka, got to thank Maka because he's he's on my, uh, my boxing with me all the time, working my hands, uh, Dean Amasinger, Semtex, uh, all them lot, they've, they've been helping me a lot, so Andre Winner, yeah, and um, Ross Pearson as well, he's a good lad, I've been doing a few rounds of him as well, so yeah, nice one.